Hey guys, hope you're doing good. Wanted to show you a couple things uh, that I was reading this morning. I've just arbitrarily opened the Word. You know, I always ask God to show me where He wants me to read. And He kept on taking me back to scriptures involving the third day, like when Moses was at Mount Sinai and God said to tell him to tell the people to be ready on the third day. And then when Joshua crossed uh, the, the river, the Jordan, again in three days, then I suddenly opened the book to the John chapter 2, wedding Cana, the wedding in Cana on the third day. But all of this went together with the thought that I had had of um, tomorrow, the 12th. Today's 11-11. Praise the Lord. My favorite number. Hopefully, it means the open doors manifested this time. But tomorrow's the full moon. Now, Jesus was crucified on a full moon, and then on the third day, he rose from the dead. So that would be 12, 13, 14, 15. That would be the 15th. That would be the, like the 17th in the Hebrew month. It would be the day the third day from the full moon, okay, the day of resurrection, the day of the power of God, the day of the earthquake, the day of the those who were dead in the grave coming up out of the ground. So um, a lot of people don't know there was a resurrection then too. In fact, they, they try to say that, well, the rapture's not until the first resurrection. Well, I always say, well, when's the first resurrection? Wasn't there already one? It's not later. There was already one before. So apparently the first resurrection means more than one resurrection. So that should answer that one. Um, so, but, so 12, 30, 40, 15, that takes you to the 15th. But what's strange about the 15th <clears throat> is I just did that video about the 15th where the, the clock hands were on 11.15, or on 11 and the 3, uh, possibly meaning, indicating 11th month of November the 15th. We know on the 3rd nothing happened, so, well, stuff happened, but um, it was more like drills were going on in Seattle and all that, if you remember that video I did regarding November 3rd and how the 11th threes and all the Illuminati uh, symbolism and movies and media and all this stuff. So the same way 9-11 and 9-2-3 <clears throat> you, you'll see in them. And so is 3-11-3 three, uh, is, is 11-3 November 15th is the question. Now that just happens to be the third day from the full moon, which is tomorrow. So for all these reasons, um, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm looking at, at, uh, it's, a, to me, it's a rapture watch because the other thing too is Exodus with Moses and Mount Sinai. That was chapter 19, which I thought was interesting. Could it be signaling 2019? Well, yeah, it could be. Um, everything mathematically will make sense when the Lord comes back. So I wanted to give you that. I'll show you a couple of scriptures and uh, just keep keep your head up. Keep looking up. I know it looks kind of quiet sometimes or like, wow, we're still here. I can't believe it. all these things, all these signs have come and gone and wow. But I'm going to keep watching. I hope you will too. Love you guys and I'll see you next time. Exodus 19:11. And let them be ready for the third day, for on the third day the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. Esther 5, 1. Now it came about on the third day that Esther put on her royal robes and stood in the inner court of the king's palace in front of the king's room. And the king was sitting on his royal throne in the throne room opposite the entrance to the palace. John chapter 2 verse 1. On the third day there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee and the mother of Jesus was there. Luke 9 22 saying the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes 
and be killed and raised up on the third day.